Okay, we're going to find the mean, variance, and standard deviation of grouped data on our calculators. So, the following table gives the frequency distribution of the number of hours spent last week on cell phones by all 100 students at a school. Let's find our data. So, two things you have to do before you put this in your calculator. The first thing you need to determine, is this a population or a sample? So, when I'm looking at this data here, I'm going to look at where our data is given. So we are given by all 100 students at a school. So that keyword there, all, that's a population. That's everyone at that school. Which means when I'm looking at the data in my calculator, okay, for variance and standard deviation, I am looking for my Greek letters for population. So I'm looking for sigma here. Okay, the mean formula is going to be the same for both population and sample. So that one doesn't matter too much. Now, the next thing I have to do when I put this in my list, I do need the midpoints. Okay, so I need the midpoints of my group data. So midpoints, pretty easy. You're just going to take, make an M column here. You're going to take the lower limit and the upper limit, divide by 2. So 0 plus 4 is 4, divided by 2, 2. 4 plus 8 is 12, divided by 2 is 6. 8 plus 12 is 20, divided by 2, 10. There you're going to get, uh, what do we have there? 28 divided by 2, 14. 36 divided by 2, 18. 20 plus 24, 44 divided by 2, 22. Okay, now we have everything we need to put this into a list. So we're going to pull up our calculator. We're going to go to stat. Edit. Now I have some stuff in here, so I'm going to scroll up and clear, enter, so I can put my list in. All right, so the first list is going to be midpoint. So 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, 22. Okay, and then I'm going to scroll over to list 2, and I'm going to put my frequencies in. 15, 20, 25, 12, 18, 10. Okay, my data is entered. So now I'm going to go back to my home screen. I'm going to go to stat. I'm going to scroll to the right, calc. And I'm still doing one variable statistics. So I'm going to hit that. Now I'm going to go midpoint, comma, frequency. So if you have those in L1 and L2, it will always be L1, L2. But if you change that up, it needs to be midpoint, comma, frequency. So Second L1, comma, second L2, midpoint, comma, frequency. There's our statistics. So we have our mean, 11.12. So if you watched the video previously, that is the correct mean. And then you have your two standard deviation calculations. So you have S of X, that's your sample. This is not a sample, this is a population. So we have 6.276. Okay, so we have our mean which is mu, because we use Greek letters with population, 11.12. Then our standard deviation was 6.276. And then if we want to find the variance, we will square that. So we'll take this 6.27579477, square it, we get 39.386. So the variance, 39.386. Okay, we have everything we need from our calculator. Pretty simple. Biggest thing, just remember midpoint, comma, frequency when I'm putting those in my list.